Hello world, how's it going? So today I'm bringing you a live species profile. So this should be interesting trying to do a species profile live. See the new water system back there, but let's flip you guys over. Maybe. There we go. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about a Pseudomugal Aru twos, which are also known as Pseudomugal Aru Gertrudes. Now I can tell you one thing is these things are super fast. They never stop and they're really hard to photograph. It's really giving me trouble trying to make a thumbnail of it. Hello V Stag, Dean H, and Zach's Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. Currently you can see I've got some dwarf neons in here that I'm keeping them with. The Melanotania Praycox. There's a small male right there. And then here are the females. They're really small, like tiny. These are adults. So you can see how much smaller they are to a dwarf neon rainbow fish. Here's a male, all colored up. Looking good. He's been chasing a female around. So there's a pair. There's a perfect grown adult pair. And it's best when you're trying to breed them to keep them in trios. There, he's starting to show off a little more. So these guys are really tiny. They're good for smaller tanks, but you can see they do like to swim. Currently housing them in a 20 high, which is one of my favorite tanks for fish. Especially smaller fish. Any pea puffers? Yes, I do actually have pea puffers over here. But we're talking about pseudomugles. Here's some pea puffers. We're talking about pseudomugles, so if you guys got any questions about these uh, Gertrude's too, please ask them. I'll get to all questions on Friday night at 9.30. You can ask me any Q&A. But yeah, these are kind of like the unsung nano fish, really. Um, if you guys ever go down like the rabbit hole of pseudomugles, you'll find that there is all kinds of types of different pseudomugle rainbow fish. So, you be careful, because collectoritis could easily kick in. Want to see them crazy shrimp you have for sale, please? Maybe another day. A lot of the mutations, I'm kind of not holding on to anymore. Hey, Flip, what diesel in the house? Nick K, Dank Tanks, Aquaholic Fish, Jake's, or Jack's Aquarium. Nice to see you in here, Robert. But, yeah, those are the Rutus. And here's, I've actually spawned some. Let me see if I can get a good top view on here. Uh, they're all hiding. Here they come. You see there's a whole school of them. So that adult pair actually used to be in here. And it's just filled up with pilo moss. And what I did is I kept the adults in here for a while. They laid eggs all over the place. I guess females can lay up to 10 eggs a day. So that's why it's good to have multiple females. Now they say that you need softer water for these, even some in like black water conditions. But if you look on my tank here, I obviously have hard water. That's all calcium buildup. So I've been breeding them and keeping them in harder water. So I'm guessing you can keep them either way. I've never kept them in soft water, so I'm not gonna tell you to do that, but that's what the profiles tell you. And I've actually gathered this strain from Gary Lange himself. So, if you guys don't know who he is, he is like the rainbow master. Like, if anybody knows anything about rainbow fish, Gary knows. He goes on collection trips and everything. So, these, the strain was actually collected from the wild. It's not like a pet store strain or anything like that. They come from the Aru Islands, which I don't remember what that's near. Let's see, I've been keeping them at 74 degrees. I'm trying to get this guy a good view of this guy so I can get a good thumbnail out of him like, later. But they rarely spawn like pretty much every day. I feed them the tetratropical granules. They love live food though. There's like a lot of small like Daphnia and microorganisms in these tanks, so they love that. Very peaceful fish. 
Lucas, Flipper Clark says, Lucas is on the comeback. I'll be in Indiana Sunday if you don't mind me stopping. Yeah, if you want to stop by, you can. Feel free. Just hit me up, text me or something. All right. So, anybody got any other questions on these? I think I covered most of it. I mean, they love planted tanks, obviously. You can spawn mop them. Some people will use, like, the spawning mops with the yarn and the cork. And they'll spawn on those. You can put them on the ground or you can put them up. They'll scatter them anyway, anywhere. They have no parental care. But if you have a tank that's just full of moss and maybe something up top, you will get a little bit of colony breeding, just not a whole lot out of them from, like, jumping them back and forth. All right. Nice, glad to have you in here, Kyle. Reverend Rob, Bob Gibbons. Where can we find them? Some fish stores will have them. Aquabed will have them. Um, it's one of those fish you got to kind of look out for. Like, they're not always readily available. So it's great. You just got to keep an eye out on them. But they do pop up in the hobby here and there. Like, my favorite kind of fish are the kind of fish that you don't usually see anywhere. I'm the kind of guy that goes to the fish store and he buys the fish that he's never seen before. You know, I haven't bought from a fish store a long, for a long time. I usually get from hobbyists. Lucas, what's your favorite rainbow fish? Do you have a favorite? That's really hard to pick. Right now, though, I'd say the Melanotania goldii decai is my favorite out of the ones I have, but... There's a bunch of others that closely run with it. Oh, I keep these guys except the ones I raised from eggs recently are a roof fours. That's awesome. Could you breed for profit? You could if you had the time and patience and just kept moving them around. You could really breed anything for profit if you just set up enough tanks, enough operation, and just keep rolling them over, you know? What are your thoughts on feeding rainbows, frozen brine shrimp? I know they should be veggie fed. No, they love protein. That tetratropical gr color granules is just packed full of protein. Like, see, this is perfect kind of space for them to spawn on. So if I were to take all these fish out, I'd probably have babies in like the next couple days. I think it takes about 10 days for the eggs to hatch. They can look really dull in the LFS. But be careful because there are many types of the Gertrudes. So they may not all look like the Arutus. I can get a little closer. It's just he's constantly moving so it's really hard to read the chat. And try to keep the camera on him. When you going to have more crifts? Do I not have more crifts on the site? I'll get to put more stuff on the site here soon i just been delaying it because I've had so much going on with the house and trying to keep it in order and getting daycare things situated, which he's not going to daycare now because it just wasn't working out. It wasn't economical. I honestly just could not afford it. The pressure of having an extra $600 a month and that's a lot of shrimp and stuff to sell every month just to pay for daycare. So it just was not working out. I'm in Australia temporarily. Are there any special? Let me see here. Are there any special rainbows or anything I could get while I'm here? Oh man, there's all kinds of Australian rainbow fish, but the go off the top of the, my head right now. I mean, shoot, I wouldn't even know where to begin because you guys have so many cool rainbow fish. Do you have a channel, Armin? I would love to see them in their wild, too, if you do videos of them in their wild. Hello, everyone. Okay. Very new to hobby. Thanks for the patience on repetitive questions. No problem. Questions are good for everybody. All right, so there you go. It was going to be a short kind of live video. I mean, pretty much discussed most everything I can think of off the top of my head about them, guys. But if you got any other questions, whatever, I don't mind answering in the comments below. So, until next time, I hope you guys may learn something. If not, well, sorry, maybe next time. I'll 
pick something you guys do like. So until then, actually tomorrow, Friday night, 9.30, live stream. You can ask me all the questions you want to.